Alrighty, so Steel City Interactive just recently announced that they will be inviting six content creators to play Esports Boxing Club. Esports Boxing Club is a brand new boxing video game um, being designed by Steel City Interactive. And we've been following the game's development for a while now. They're doing a very good job. We've uploaded um, a few videos on that. Um, but right here on their website, they, they posted um, ESBC's first community event. Hey, Fight fans. We're excited to share that we are preparing to host our first ever esports boxing club community event. We've invited six creators from the community to visit us and play esports boxing club a couple of weeks from now. Now here to say, what are we doing and why? Creators are visiting us for a first look at ESBC gameplay. The dev team is making great progress and we think it's the right time to put ESBC in the hands of a few community members. It will be an opportunity to play the game over a couple of days, ask questions and bring back some impressions from their experience. We'll also chat about how we can work together to continue to build a community of passionate boxing fans and gamers everyone will want to be a part of for years to come. Our UK-based creators will be joining us at the Steel City Interactive Studio in Sheffield, while US creators will visit North Carolina to play. You guys are coming to my, you're coming to my state. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So it says, who is taking part? We've spent time in the last few months building relationships with several creators in our community. We've hosted Zoom chats and had fantastic discussions about the kind of community we envision for ESBC and how creators are helping build the foundation of something great. The following creators were chosen to take part in the first event based on their consistent contributions and presence in ESBC discussions, enthusiasm and passion for boxing and a desire to help grow the boxing community. We're going to come back to this because this is a very important aspect of of why these guys were chosen. Um, right there, you see the, the content creators. We're going to look at their channels in just a few. Uh, you've got King Juice, The Coach's Corner, Study, Boxing Fanatico. We all know Boxing Fanatico. Showbiz, The Adult Concept Rees. If you are a creator and are not on the list, don't worry. <laughs> we are just getting started, and while this is our first ever event, it will not be our last. We will continue to create opportunities for ESBC creators and look for ways to collaborate with more of you. If you are creating ESBC-related content and haven't been in touch with us yet, be sure to join our Discord server and apply for the creator role. We'd love to chat with you. I haven't done this yet, and this is something that I'm definitely going to look into doing for sure. And now it says, when is this happening? Um, it's possible you might see short social media updates from creators and the official ESBC channels while they are with us, but we want our visitors to be able to focus on the event and have asked them not to share their impressions until after they are back home. You will begin to see their content on the 28th of March. So this is when we're going to start seeing their impressions, what they thought about it. Since the foundation of ESBC is authentic boxing gameplay, we've made that the specific focus of this event. This means you'll hear impressions about the gameplays between the ropes, um, but not about other areas of the game. We'll save that for another time. Be sure to send your gameplay related, related questions to creators. You can also post them in our questions channel on Discord. So pretty much they're they're bringing these guys these guys right here uh they're they're uk content creators that will be going but then these are the these are the main dudes that will be going to check out the game and ever since this news was posted i've been getting a shit ton of messages why are they not inviting you why are you not part of it what's going on why why is marshall mine not a part of it and i i, I want to make a few things clear um one thing I hope you all get diarrhea. Every single last one of you right here. One, two, three. I hope you all get diarrhea. I'm just <laughs> but to um, to answer your question, um, it, look at this part right here. The following creators were chosen to take part in this first event based on their consistent contributions and presence in ESBC discussions. This is a very important thing to keep in mind, right? And as much as I would so love to go play this game, I need to 
put that aside and look at this objectively. And here's the objective reasoning. Every single last one of these guys are more passionate about eSports Boxing Club than I am. 100%. There's not even there's not even a comparison when you when you look at my passion for the game and you compare it to these guys, it doesn't even come close in any way shape or form. Every single last one of these guys are more boxing fans than I am as well. And almost every single last one of them upload esports boxing club content exclusively and the game hasn't even dropped let's take a look at the first one right here this is king juice right let's go to his channel go to his videos right here as you guys can see look at this esports boxing club esports boxing club past three weeks all the way three months all the way to four months ago all the way to five months ago i mean Every single video this dude has uploaded has been about eSports Boxing Club. We're talking all the way down to seven, eight months ago. Like, freaking a year ago, this dude started uploading eSports Boxing Club content. And he's he's consistently done that. Every single video. He is not doing anything else. He is completely, completely engulfed in the game. So that's him. Like, you can't compare that to me. You know what I mean? Next up is the Coach's Corner. This is his channel. Go to his videos. Look at that. What do you see? Nothing but esports, boxing club content as well. This is a dude that is extremely passionate about the game. You can check out the channel. Scroll. I mean, look at this. This is nothing but esports. But it's literally all he talks about. That's it. Nothing else. And then you go down to study. This is a guy that I know well. I'm actually subscribed to him. I watch his content often. I really love the way he sets up his videos. Look at this. Esports Boxing Club. Over and over and over and over again. He's extremely passionate about it. And then, of course, we know Boxing Fanatico. Boxing Fanatico is all about boxing. He's all about bo What the fuck? Okay, um, he is all about boxing. He is all about um, esports boxing club. He's been following this. He's he's uploading even like retro boxing games. He's a boxing fan, true and true. This is what he does. This is what is his whole entire um, focus. So uh, you understand why they're picking him to go like that. That's got to be pretty clear. You go down to Showbiz the Adult. Showbiz the Adult. This is actually, I believe this is the this is the guy that I saw Esports Boxing Club news from the very first time. This dude right here. He uploads nothing but boxing content. You look at him. He's he's uploading Esports Boxing Club. He's uploading actual boxing news. He's completely engulfed in the world of boxing. He's a boxing fan. So they're going to, of course, invite him. And then last dude right here, Concept Reese. Same thing. What do you see? Esports Boxing Club. Esports Boxing Club. Esports Boxing Club. Boxing content. Esports bo Over and over. Boxing, boxing, boxing. So, but then you, you know, you take a look at me, for example. Let's, you know, let's, let's take a look at my channel. You know, you go to my channel right here. Like, Esports, uh, EA Sports UFC 4. I will upload some esports boxing content like right there, but the last one I uploaded was two weeks ago. And I typically only like really bring up esports boxing club when there's when there's news, you know, when there's something new going on. That's when we hop on and we talk about it. So I definitely wouldn't fall under um, what they said right here. Consistent right there, consistent contrib contributions and presence in ESBC discussions and enthusiasm and passion for boxing. I wouldn't fall under that. I've even said on my channel multiple times that I love the art of boxing. I'm a fan of the art, the martial arts itself, but the sport of boxing, I don't follow it at all like i i would be considered a casual fan of the sport of boxing the art itself i love i love boxing i love studying boxing i love um following the art of boxing but when it comes to the sport like i don't i don't know anything i don't know who's pound for pound i don't know who's fighting when they're fighting like if it's if canelo alvarez is not fighting i typically don't care so um 
the only reason they would maybe want to bring me in is because my channel is just bigger than the rest of them. That that would be the only reason. Um, but I don't think that is a good enough reason to bring me in before these guys. You know what I mean? They've they've bled. They've put in the time. They've shown way more support for the game than I have. And if Esports Boxing Club, if Steel City Interactive is to continue... Um, if they're to continue doing exactly what they've been doing, which is showing the community so much love, like more love than we've seen from a lot of different game companies. If they're to continue that uh, that pattern of showing the community love, it would be ridiculous to put, to pick me over these guys. It, it just it flat out would be um, as much as I would enjoy to go play the game. So that is the objective reason why they're doing it. They don't have anything against me. I know a lot of you guys were, were saying, oh, they didn't pick you because there were a few times when you critiqued the game. It has nothing to do with that. Really, it really does not have anything to do with that. It's just because these guys are just way more passionate for, uh, for the game. And they're going to, like, they're way more happy to go play the game than I would I would be, 100%. So um, that is what's going on. My hope is that in the future, I'll get to play the game when they need um, someone to kind of promote it, you know, someone to like do like a promotion on a bigger scale, I'd love them to bring me in. I'd love to take a look at the game, play the game and start like uh, promoting it. I would love to do that. So whenever they're ready, I am down. I mean, it's especially because they're saying these these dudes will visit North Carolina. I'm in North Carolina. It's you, This is my back door. So it will be very easy for me to show up. But that is it, man. Uh, personally, I'm really, really looking forward to uh, to content from these guys, especially Boxing Fanatico and Study. Like, I'm really going to be looking forward to seeing what these two guys have to say about the game. Um, looking forward to their impressions. Hopefully, we get, uh, we get this very soon. And I really hope they have fun, man. You know, go right there, have fun, enjoy playing the game. I had a tremendous amount of fun uh, playtesting uh esports uh, not esports ea sports ufc 2 and ea sports ufc 3 those are the two games i i played before any you know anybody else played and it was really really fun to do that these guys are going to have a great time they're going to get to meet each other they'll all hang out together they'll all uh nerd out on boxing <laughs> the same way that us game changers nerded out on mma it will be a fun fun time for these guys so that is it hope you guys enjoyed the video once again congratulations to these six six fucks for getting to play the game um hope you guys have fun and looking forward to looking forward to your content in the future all right that is it leave a like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys later as always stay safe peace out have a good one boys